Hi, you guys. Damon and Sophie here. We are back from Canada, so and we are featuring this beautiful Lexus. 1998, 1998. Lexus. Lexus. It's a GS 400. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's, it's in great, I would say, near excellent shape. Isn't it pretty for... How old is that? 26 years old. 26, yeah. And here's some other cars we're going to have burn bring a trailer. A 15,000 mile Porsche 911, a Toyota Land Cruiser, a Mustang, 69 Mustang, four speed up there, a Model A. We've got all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, we do. What do you think of that? Stay tuned. So uh, how was your trip? My trip was nice. Thank you for asking. Awesome. That's <laughs> yes. good. That's a eating. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that what Canadians do? Yeah. That's what we do. That and party. All right. Let's talk about this. Yeah, this gorgeous car is stunning. Yeah. I don't know what the pictures look like that you've taken. I haven't gone through, but yeah, looked really good. In person, this car looks excellent. Well, let's get in and uh, pop do the a hood. Cold start, so we'll do a cold start. We'll do a cold start, and then I'll pick it apart. There are some things on it I want to highlight for everyone. So sounds good. It's stunning and it's beautiful, yeah, like cool. you, oh, but it also you. has a few flaws. Yeah. Well, nothing is. Don't we all? Just perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's nice. pop the hood. Yeah, pop it. Do it. It's uh, right there. There you go. Okay. Okay. You stay there. I'm I gonna go. Here. I'm gonna go touch the uh, engine so everyone can see that it's cold. This is the four liter Lexus V8. It is so quiet and smooth. Timing belt replacement was March sixth of twenty. I think we listed in there twenty fourteen. The odometer was 50,000 miles, so it's got 26, 28,000 miles on it. But the car is absolutely amazing condition. It was a one owner, uh, Seattle Microsoft executive. He always maintained the car. I mean, it was, it was maintained unbelievably. So we'll uh, pick it apart here in a second and go from there. So yeah, the uh, Microsoft Seattle executive, uh, we put a brand new battery in it. If it does sit for like a month at a time, the lady that um, owned it, the original owner from him, uh, unfortunately he's no longer with us, but they, uh, they said if it sat, they'd put a trickle charger on it. So, and maybe they all just do that. You ready? I'm ready. We're gonna fire this up. Let's do Look it. at the interior, isn't it nice? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, it's... you can tell this car was definitely uh, garage. garage yeah. yeah. All right, let's go on. I'm gonna go in the back and see if it smokes when we start it. You ready? Ready. Do it. Yeah. Right? Excited? Yeah. So, I'll put my hand down here on the, I didn't do that ahead of time, but I'll put it on there right now. The car is running, and I got my hand on the exhaust manifold. It's not ice cold because here in Florida, but it's going to be heating up here in a second. My hand without the fan. On the uh, thermostat housing. But quiet. And there's been a lot of people that have commented about the timing belt, and that is up to you. I did not change the timing belt or the tires. The tires are in great condition. There's lots of tread, but the date code on them is it's the front. I thought they were 14, 2014, but let me look in the back one. Um, I believe the date code is there, 2013. So the tires are over 10 years old. How do you like it? I like Didn't it. it have, feel the leather. The, the AC is nice and cold. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, pull it out. how quiet it is one of the things i love about old lexuses the ls the gs the all of them is the fact that the engines are so smooth and so quiet they have good power but they're not um you know they're not over the top listen how quiet this is super quiet so let me go around the car real quick front wheel the inside of the wheel has some um i don't know what you'd call that but the the inside is pitted a little bit outside of the wheel front wheel is perfect shape the hood does have some rock chips on it as well as some of the fenders it was a seattle car so that would be expected um 
some over here. I'd say there's probably a dozen on the hood. I have a, a gentleman, if the owner or the new owner wants to have these rock chips touched up, there's a few here. I'd say probably a dozen on the front, some right here. Uh, you saw the underneath of the car. It's in phenomenal condition. Front right wheel, both front wheels do not have any curb rash on them. The paint, there's no door dings. There is a little ding right here. If you can see that. There's a little, also a little mark right here. Factory pinstriping. Um, you look down the sides of the car, you just don't see any signs of dings. There's a scratch back here, and I can have that touched up as well. It's about an inch long, and I can have uh, that guy do that at the same time if the owner, new owner would like that. Rear wheel has no scratches on it. It's uh, same as all the other ones. The tires are all, like I said, 13s or 14s. Uh, the logos there is a little bit of scuffing right here so that's got a little scratch on it and there's a couple rock chips on the back of the spoiler now some of you asked about the spoiler if it comes off and i would assume we're gonna pop the spoiler here real quick how you doing in there I'm great. you like this i like it this is gonna be a good one um i would assume if you want to take this fact or uh dealer installed spoiler off looks like it's right here so on the edge there's two screws yeah that's it so a screw here and a screw here on the outside edge those are going to be going through so you're going to have holes but they are on the outside edge of the trunk lid yeah, here's another one in here so those from what i've heard from people on um, bring a trailer is because it has this third light this was not originally from the the uh factory with that spoiler so it's dealer installed um somebody could certainly take it off but you're gonna have a couple holes that you're gonna have to touch up or fill in on the edges but it's definitely possible there is a little bit of paint flaking i wouldn't say flaking but it's loose on these strips and these strips go from the back here all the way up to the front of the car a lot of times the fronts will be dinged up. This one's in, they're both in good shape, but I would say back here you have a little bit, I don't know what's underneath here if these were originally chrome, but the car is stunning. It's all got the factory books and extra keys. You saw all of that stuff. The, uh, the Washington State title. Um, and look at the inside of this. It's really really fabulous so Sophie you ready to take it for a spin ready to go spin I'm ready all right yep. do your thing oh I didn't highlight the back wheel back here on the driver's side there's a tiny bit of scratching there and a little bit of curb rash right here and you can't fix these because they're chrome plated otherwise um, I would offer to do that but so anyway here she goes listen to how quiet Here comes Sophie in the 1998 Lexus GS 400, Carfax one owner, phenomenal condition, never been painted. It's uh, all the body panels are original. Wow, that is stunning looking, look at this. I did notice something the other day, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna have her hit the brake light real quick. What do you think? Wow, it's very smooth. And I'm really, it's, really impressed with the comfort of the It's seats. so quiet and it's 26 years old. Yeah, and this. Give it some throttle. The seat is so comfortable. And it's quiet. Yeah. For, for, the, uh, really for the, the Jack, whatever you want to call him, that wants to make a comment about the timing belt. Oh, yeah. It's perfectly fine to me. Wow. Hey, put your brakes on. Uh, brake lights all work. 
Put the parking lights on. Parking lights. Uh, right here. Now the brakes. Yep, we have one one light out up here. I'm gonna have to cut that out. There's no rear lights. Oh really? Turn that on. Well, now they're on. Oh, it's because it's automatic. Okay. So let's let's uh, try the brake lights. Okay. We'll try and the then we'll light. do the okay. turn signal lights. And I thought, yep, one brake. Oh, that's brakes. No brakes. Yeah, we have one turn signal light out right here, and I will get that replaced before the new owner gets the car. Sorry about that. Uh, mirrors, no scratches. Like I said, there are a few on the hood. Uh, no scratches here. There is one rock chip that had been repaired right here by the Toyota, Toyota factory. And this is down low um, and it's not moving. It's been repaired. But the rest of the windshield is in really good condition. All right. Where can you find this? Bring a trailer. How much? No reserve. Yep. So bid, yeah. bid, bid, It's nice. It's a beautiful car. Could use Look it how neat this is. Could use it for a show. Look. It's oh, wow. I love it. Could use it as a show car. Take it to on car shows weekend. on the weekends. Yeah. Even though it's a sedan, it'd be kind of sure. cool. Or uh, a really good yeah. one for All right. So. See you good soon. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you soon for this GS400 here on Bring a Trailer and Naples Luxury Cars. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. Yeah. For for the uh, for the the Jack, whatever you want to call him, that wants to make a comment about the timing belt. Oh yeah. It's perfectly timing.